Hey everyone, it's Kelly with Premium Fontend. Today we're going to assemble and install a fawn tail. First, trace your pattern onto the back side of your faux fur. For this template, I'm adding a little bit of extra seam allowance, but if you're using one of the templates from our website, you can just trace it directly without adding any extra. Once you've traced out the template, it's time to cut your fur. Cutting faux fur is easiest when using a box cutter or similar craft blade, but you can use scissors if you don't have access to a craft knife. If you're using a craft knife, make sure that you use a cutting mat or a cardboard box to protect your table or floor. Depending on the template you use, you may have two or more pieces. Make sure that you get all of your pieces cut out and transfer any markings to the pattern pieces. Next, we're going to pin or clip the tail pieces together. You can use regular straight pins, but sewing clips can work best for bulky fabrics like faux fur. Check our video description for a link to sewing clips. Once our pattern pieces are all pinned or clipped together, it's time to sew. If you find these tutorials helpful, please leave a like and comment below, and consider subscribing while you're at it. Once the sewing is completed, turn your tail right side out, making sure that the tip of the tail is fully turned out. Next, use the stuffing of your choice to stuff the tail. Now we have to decide how the tail is going to be attached. You can close your tail vertically or horizontally. Closing your tail horizontally will give you a really nice vertical bounce. Closing your tail vertically will give you a really nice side-to-side -side sway. So think about your fawn character and what kind of movement you'd like to accentuate. So, of course you want it down the center. You don't want it coming out of your butt. That's weird. So you want it basically like right at where the top of your tailbone would be. That's where your tail should come out of. The top of your tailbone. Not out of your butt. Um, and because we sewed this closed vertically, we're going to cut a vertical slit in the pants. And that way we can sew it in vertically. She'll have a really nice side to side sway. Won't get so much movement vertically, like up and down, but it'll be a nice little wiggle. Mm -hmm. So we do have this marking line from when we marked out the pattern piece, and we're just gonna be tracing that, measuring to about the same length as the tail base. Throws knife. <laughs> no. Put that on the inside. It's hard to see. It's a lot of stuff going on. Just going to now you'll use a hand needle and thread and whip stitch the tail into the pan.
Thank you so much for watching. Our next tutorial will be how to construct leg pads to wear inside of your fawn legs.